This farm in Kent grows 20% of the UK's raspberries and it's Bulgarian and Romanian workers doing the picking. But manager Sally Hodzov, who's Bulgarian himself, says since the referendum, far fewer are opting to come. If there's no Bulgarian and Romanians, the farms will stop. At the moment, without uh, other choices, it's impossible. And why are fewer uh, Bulgarians wanting to come and, and, and work here? Exchange rate is the biggest thing. Uh, and I think the local economies are picking up and, and they, they is not as attractive as it used to be. The government pilot announced today will allow up to 2,500 non-EU migrants a year to work on British farms for two years after Brexit. Under strict rules, they'll be allowed to stay for only six months before having to return home. However, farming organisations estimate that last year farmers faced a shortfall of around 9,000 workers. We've been asking for this since 2011 and it's been massively exacerbated by firstly the exchange rate uh, and secondly the feeling of, of being less welcome and the uncertainty uh, around Brexit. So, you know, it's, it's a start. Um, growers, of course, across the country would like to see higher numbers. We hope that that will come in time. Until the end of 2020, freedom of movement rules are supposed to be staying largely the same, but that hasn't stopped EU workers already looking elsewhere, with farmers warning that unless there are significant numbers to replace them, some of the fruit like this will be left rotting where it grew. The farm's owner says they're already taking a hit. The government scheme won't make a practical difference in terms of numbers. On this farm we employ 13, 1400 people, so that's over half the number which would be allocated on a source scheme. Uh, in terms of lost revenue, it's hundreds of thousands of pounds a year on this farm only. UK farms have grown used to relying on an army of European workers for seasonal jobs. Now the government's attempting to balance a desire to cut migration after Brexit whilst limiting the damage to successful industries. This pilot might be a step in the right direction for farmers, but it's a pretty small one. Romilly Weeks, News at 10, Kent.